Hi guys, and welcome to the Test on Iceland. I'm... <laughs> I'm making this video uh, to elaborate on the limiter function that I've been uh, talking about in the last two videos. Um, not everybody knows what I mean. I uh, made some uh, postings on the uh, Tesla forum, Tesla, on, on Tesla Motors, and uh, people didn't really know what I was talking about. A limiter. I don't want my car limited. Oh. Um, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something that works. Uh, you, you set it like a uh, like the cruise control. You just um, set your speed in uh, by pushing the stock up and up or down, um, and, and you would see the um, uh, see the setting in the on the dashboard. And, but this this would be the maximum speed the car is allowed to go, not the minimum speed. Uh, well, in in conventional cruise control that would be the minimum speed. But of course, uh, traffic aware cruise control with the radar would slow the car down. Anywho, um, uh, the radar in the front, it like you probably seen in the first two videos, it really is uh, prone to picking up snow. I mean, there's always a, a lot of... I mean, in the winter time here in Iceland, it, it does snow a lot and, and sleet and and, and the... Um, it builds up. So, after a few kilometers of driving, cruise control unavailable. Yay. Um, I, I, I would like some backup for this and the limiter function would be perfect because it doesn't need any sensors it all all it does is uh, limit the upper speed so you don't go too fast you have to drive you have to use your leg but uh, uh, I mean it works kind of like a conventional cruise control when you just keep your foot down uh, it just stays at the set speed and does nothing to avoid other traffic so you have to do that yourself but the easy thing is you just just ease up on the accelerator and the car slows down everything's fine this means I don't have to keep watching my speedometer if, if uh, uh, this is not just for, for winter driving it, it, it's actually been um, uh, what's the world? Or, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, there were some studies that showed that uh, when you're driving in fog, if you don't see the speedometer, you tend to drive faster than if it was a clear day. It has something to do with how the eyes, pro uh, how the brain processes the uh, input from the eyes. So, having a limiter could save you from speaking tickets and of course just more dangerous driving you, you set the you, you just uh, you would switch to limiter by uh, pressing the button here on the end of the stock and then you well you, you couldn't go faster than the speed you set uh, of well for safety reasons you probably would have to um, be able to uh, well if you floor it it should should do something if you go all the way down but otherwise no just yeah <laughs> yeah it's telling me to, I, I was demonstrating with my foot and put it down and it, it tells me to shift if, uh, shift into D or R to drive yeah Um, anyway, um, this is almost every, yeah, well, the, the sensors get blocked every time there's, there's snowing, there's snow. So, uh, very often I don't have any cruise control, any driver assistance when I'm driving home. And uh, okay, it's not that far. I'm, I'm only driving 55 kilometers 
32, 3 miles uh, each way, but still, uh, those who have to drive even further can probably understand what I'm talking about and want to have this feature. I'm, I'm not talking about taking anything away. I'm, uh, I mean, there is a button there. It does nothing now except uh, cancel cruise control, which you do anyway with by pressing the brake or or pressing it away from you. So, if you could switch to limited function, which would work s similarly, uh, I mean, you, you set it in the same way uh, by just uh, yeah. Um, and then uh, the only difference is and when you have actually set it the brakes doesn't cancel it because it's an upper limit not the lower limit so uh, the only th only way to cancel uh, limiter would be to either cancel by pushing the stock forward or switching back to to conventional cruise control or traffic light cruise control they could do they could put this in all every car all the cars because it doesn't need any sensors and uh, it's safer to drive with the limiter uh, in slippery conditions than use cruise control. It's almost the same as not using cruise control, just has this upper limit, so you don't drive too fast. Because I, I mean, I, I would like to have my eyes outside, my attention outside the car when I'm driving in, in bad weather. And of course, if there's fog, I, I, there's no, uh, I don't have to set the crew, the uh, the limiter to to uh, to, to the um, to, uh, speed limit. Yeah, speed limit. Thanks. Uh, I could just, I mean, if there's fog, I just maybe put it to fifty, and then mm. that's safer. Or, or not, uh, it, it's my choice at least. There's one point for those who don't have winter conditions. It's a fun car to drive. Yeah. It's easy to go above the speed limit in this car. It's yeah. a powerful car. So... Perhaps, I mean, uh, you could set it to some limit that um, uh, is the difference between uh, heavy fine and losing your license. So sure. maybe if there's a... Uh, if you lose your license at 85, and now I'm talking miles, and the speed limit is 60, you set it to 84, and then you drive, have fun. I mean, speeding tickets, it's, you, you could look at that as just um, the fun tax. <laughs> I don't know. Not that we're advocating speeding. No, no, don't, no. don't speed, don't speed. No. But at least you could. What did I change? Mm. I think I turned into Clinton. Sorry. Um, <coughs> um, uh, you know, I think uh, many, many people would like to drive themselves. Yep. For themselves. Uh, do you say okay? And but. But, uh, they would like to be in full control of the car, yeah. but this, I mean, they would be. It just, it, the car just reminds them you're going way over the speed limit. Mm. Sure. So it's, it's not a bad thing for anyone, I think. Mm. Um, I don't want to take any, anything away from the traffic light cruise control or the conventional cruise control in the older cars. No change there. Just be able to switch to limited mode so you can drive safer and with some minimal assistance in bad weather be it fog, snow, ice, whatever because this is a great car this would only make it better <laughs> ah, sorry <clears throat> yep that's our point um, I mean, all the controls are here. Um, you could use the f for the uh, autopilot enabled cars. You could use the camera to 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 see what the speed limit is, and you just use it like uh, you set it like the cruise control. Uh, the the difference. 
the reason I'm not advocating conventional cruise control when the sensors are disabled, it's too similar. If you have a, a autopilot enabled car and you you uh, have it in, in uh, following another car at, at, at a set speed and uh, the, the car bef uh, in front slows down, then your car slows down. Okay, no problem. Um, if the sensors are blocked and you actually can use a conventional cruise control in your autopilot enabled car, the car in front slows down, you forget that the conventional cruise control is on, it's not traffic aware, and you have an accident. Mm. That's not good. So, no, I really don't want that. I want I want the limiter because that's different. You 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 know the difference. You you know when you're driving on the limiter and when you're not because you have to use your foot. Your right foot is is doing the work. The car is just helping you go not too fast. Yeah. Also, uh, with bad weather, uh, with icy and snowy roads, you don't want to use cruise control. Yeah. You want to have complete control of the car. Yeah. But you, yeah, and but you still want to be able to cruise at a set speed mm, exactly. without constantly modulating modulating your foot. Mm -hmm. Just pre just keep the accelerator pressed, and the car stays at a, a set speed. Okay, there's a car. You're approaching a car from behind. Then you just ease up, slow down. Everything's fine. That's everything. I don't think that covers it. Okay. Doesn't it? Yeah, um, uh, maybe uh, how... Uh, I think uh, the, um, the speed... Li uh, the cruise control sign, uh, I guess y you don't have to really change that one. But on the other side, in the dashboard, uh, where there's um, the uh, steering wheel, when you you can use that, the, if the, the limiters the icon steering wheel icon st yeah the steering wheel icon mm -hmm. right, <laughs> that's not the <sighs> sorry I'm I'm thinking in Icelandic at the moment. <laughs> okay, um, the steering wheel icon that should change to lim when the limiter is on or limiter or whatever, just uh, maybe in in amper or red or even. Just very clear limiter is on. You can't double click, uh, double press, du double pull. Yeah, um, it it won't sear for you. There's uh, the limiter to, is on. to indicate yeah. which you're using the autopilot or limiter. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. the uh, the left one, which shows you which speed you have set, that doesn't have to change. That could be the same, but on the other side, you should say lim in the same mm -hmm. place that the steering wheel icon is usually when you can use auto steer. Yeah. Um, now I think we have covered it. Probably. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> um, okay. Um, yeah. Yep. I think so. Okay. Tell us what you think in the comments. Please. Please do. Um, and I, I mean, if you don't understand what you're talking about, please ask. I, I'm, we're, I mean, English is our second language. Uh, maybe we ha are having problem explaining what what we mean. Mm. But yeah, please ask. I, I mean, I, I want people to understand what we're talking about so Tesla can understand what we're talking about. Then implement this because I think this would make the car even better than mm -hmm. it is. Yep. Yep. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye.